Hello, this is the first of three videos based on the Data Viewer. And in these videos, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of the Data Viewer. To access the Data Viewer, you'll just need to click on the Output pin or the Record Count beside the Output pin to show the records in the Data Viewer. The Data Viewer appears at the bottom of the screen and can be expanded or collapsed as needed by clicking on these three dots. You can drag the Data Viewer up and down to make it as big or as small as you like. A new tab is created for each output pin that you click on, and the first 1,000 records of the data will be displayed in the data viewer. In the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see a count of how many records are displayed against the total that exist in the entire data set. From version 360 onwards, you'll see this arrow icon on each of the tabs. This is the pop-out data viewer feature, and it will allow you to compare multiple data sets side by side. This is a useful feature if you want to run a node and then reconfigure it with some different property values. You'll be able to see both data sets and compare them. Once you use this feature, the data set is removed from the data viewer. When you're ready to close the pop-out windows, click on this button here. It's called the dock back to main window button. And the data set will be reopened in its original tab in the data viewer. To help you organize your data, row numbers are displayed to the left. You can select entire rows by clicking on the line number and the entire column by clicking on the column header. Once the row or column is selected, you can copy and paste as you would normally into another document. Analyze has a lot of shortcuts available within the data viewer. And for the purposes of this video, we've broken them into navigation shortcuts and selection shortcuts. Back in the data viewer, columns can be reordered using drag and drop or alternatively, you can click on the hamburger menu at the top of any column and move them around that way. The reordering of columns and fields will be remembered for as long as the tab is open in the data set. So if you close this and open it again, the original order will be restored. One final thing that I wanted to mention is that when a node is rerun or the status is cleared, then all open tabs in the data viewer for that node are closed. This ensures that all data is not displayed in the data viewer. To bring the data viewer back up again, you'll need to rerun the node and click on the output pin or the record count.